We actually have to deal with Alice and the Black Mamba today. So I noticed that the last time I tried to put a rat in there, in a matter of half an hour, there were red ants all over the rat. And there's footage to show you guys. We're gonna figure out what's the problem, but we're gonna have to deep clean that enclosure. And for me to deep clean that enclosure, I gotta capture Alice and the Black Mamba. You can see he's a real dark coloration right now. The best thing we could possibly do right now is give him a nice big soak, or as I like to call it, bath. Beautiful snake, look at that. Big female Bushmaster, roughly about two and a half years old, probably going on three years old now. You're so beautiful in every single way. Words can't express how, how much I love your face. Cause you're my king. Oh, my king. Oh, I love you, Kevin. Don't, don't be like that. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm hanging out right now in the Serpentarium here with Kevin the King Cobra. Kevin's about a 14 foot, 15 foot Malaysian King Cobra. And usually his colors are popping because the Malaysian King Cobras are super vibrant. They're like yellow. And those bands on their hood, the chevrons, are like neon yellow, beautiful. But right now, you can see he's a real dark coloration right now. So we kind of just got out of the mating season for this guy. So his colors are starting to dull out, but he's also deep in shed because he had a big meal not too long ago. And that actually might be why he didn't eat the last time we tried to feed him. So he's actually deep in shed. I can tell by the opaqueness of his belly scales. The best thing we could possibly do right now is give him a nice big soak, or as I like to call it, bath. Uh, only problem is, the container that we use, the snake holding receptacle, is actually a crocodilian holding receptacle right now because outside it's going to be dropped to like 50 degrees tonight. And my South American crocodilians cannot handle that kind of weather, so I got my smooth front caiman right in this tote right here. We're going to have to do a little transfer. This is my little guy I've had for probably, man, like two, three years now. This is blue. He's such a beautiful caiman. Let's grab him real quick. Nice and smooth. The most heavily armored crocodilians on the planet. The smooth front caiman, Schneider's caiman, also known as Paleosuchus trigonatus, smooth like a trigger, beautiful caiman, and at nighttime their coloration becomes very vibrant around the jaws. So I'm gonna actually transfer little blue into this container. There we go. Just a little bit smaller, not a big deal. We're gonna fill this up with lukewarm water. I got my hose hooked up right here. That's not working. Any minute now. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Water's a good temp. Not too cold, not too warm. We just want it lukewarm. So we're gonna fill it up about a foot because that's a really big King Cobra. And after this is nice and filled up, we're gonna go stick them in the can, let them soak for about 40 minutes or so. And I'm gonna do some maintenance around the snake house. And then, then I'm sure you guys know by the title, we actually have to deal with Alice and the Black Mama today. So I noticed that the last time I tried to put a rat in there for her to eat, in a matter of half an hour, there were red ants all over the rat, and there's footage to show you guys. So you'll see in this clip that all over the rat, we got red ants like crazy. They're eating the rat, they're going on the inside, and within a matter of 30 minutes, they're making quick work of this meal. And Allison can't have any of it, because she's gonna stay away from those red ants for no good. So what we wanna do is actually deep clean her enclosure. I'm gonna see if maybe one of the drilled holes that helped me drain the enclosure for when I clean them, maybe that's like a little entry for those ants. They're picking up the scent of a rat and they're following in that way. So either it came in through a bag of mulch or the red ants are coming from outside somehow and they're getting inside that cage eating the rat. So either way, we're gonna figure out what's the problem, but we're gonna have to deep clean that enclosure. And for me to deep clean that enclosure, I gotta capture Alice in the Black Mamba. And as you know from previous videos, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to go real slow and smooth because that snake is no joke. That's the most notorious snake on the planet. It's up there with the Fertilance, it's up there with the King Cobra. I gotta say the, the top, the top of the top has to be Black Mamba for most feared snake on the planet. Should they be feared? No, nah, they should be respected. They're awesome animals, they're great to have around, and honestly, what would the world be like if we didn't have king cobras, saltwater crocodiles, grizzly bears, African elephants? These are the things that make our big blue world so special. So obviously, Allison deserves to be here just as much as I do, and you do too. So let's get this can right over to Kevin and deal with him, because he's a bit easier. So we'll just warm up with, with big old Kevin, big old 14 foot king cobra, and then, then we'll move on over to Allison, who don't play no schnitzel, because I don't want to get demonetized. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Cobra in there. Okay. All 
Alright beautiful people, are you guys ready? Kevin the King Cobra, the most iconic King Cobra on the internet, probably in the world. You know, <laughs> yo, he's looking at me right now, look how cute he is. Oh, who's a good boy? Who are you? He already knows, he's looking at the can, he's like, oh, I'm getting a bath? Okay, man. <laughs> I love this King Cobra, you know, you might not think King Cobras and snakes in general are like, oh, what is he talking about? They have personality? Boy, he's interested? No, that's a dumb snake? No, not at all. These are the most intelligent snakes on the planet. Out of every type of snake on the planet, the King Cobra is the most intelligent. They process everything. They look, they analyze, they work things out. So when he's looking at us like that, and he's peering over at this can, he's going, oh, okay, I know the situation. And that's part of the reason why Kevin doesn't try to go after me and kill me. That's his personality. He's somewhat laid back. He's still a dangerous, venomous snake, the largest venomous snake on the planet. But then you get other personalities that never seem to get comfortable with you. They just always want you to be uh, far, far away, like Justina. Justina, I've known her since she was a little seven foot skinny King Cobra. My friend Justin was raising her. I was probably like 17, 18 years old. And I got to work with her and it was fun. She was very defensive back then. And years later, she's still just as cantankerous as the day I met her. So it just shows you every species, they all have their own individual personalities, just like you and me. So anyways. Let's get ready. We're gonna put Kevin in the can. I mean, <clears throat> snake holding receptacle, that's also a bath. And we're gonna actually let him soak up and enjoy himself because you know what? This King Cobra means so much to me. He really is my favorite snake in the collection. He's a beast, he deserves the best. I can't wait to get him inside those big walk-in King Cobra enclosures that we're gonna be doing throughout this room. It's gonna be amazing. So let's see, let me get my snake hook. I'll be right, oh, whoa, thank you. Oh, really, oh, so get ready. Oh, I like that, okay. You're getting a raise. All right, so here we go. Hello, Kevin. You know the deal. You saw the tub, you made that pause. Come here, big boy. So I used the hook to initially pull the snake closer to me, but once it comes time to actually getting the King Cobra out, I go all hands on because they do not like the touch of a metal hook. A King Cobra is such a large snake, it is very difficult to actually hook them properly and have them actually be comfortable. Come here. So this, is Kevin the Malaysian King Cobra, and he's a beast. All right, so let's see if we can smoothly get him into the tub. Let's see how this works. You just window shot while you stick your tail in there. There we go. Obviously, I get a lot closer with him than I do Justina, because like I said, his personality is much, much different. But still, he's a dangerous animal. If you wanted to, he could definitely Give me a nasty, nasty bite and end my life. It's okay. Secure! All right, guys, we got Kevin the King Cobra. He's in the tub, he's secure. Snake holding receptacle made by the best biologists in town, in the, in the, in the stratosphere, all right? It's a trash can. No, I'm kidding, it's a snake holding receptacle. Ah, pay attention, come on! Ah. Did I hit it too hard? I know last time I corrupted the memory card. Anyways, all right, guys, so now, what I'm gonna do is check his enclosure. Maybe I'll do a deep clean, you know? Give him some nice, fresh mulch. Get that glass out. I'm sorry, Justina. She's not happy right now. Relax, relax. All right, so we're going to change out his water. It looks like uh, there's not poop in there. I think that's something else. That's uh, there's baby making juice right there. But uh, we're going to go dump this out and change it. Give him some fresh water so he's good to go. All right, beautiful people. We cleaned out Kevin's enclosure. We're going to put some fresh mulch in there. And what we're going to do is while he's soaking, since it's going to take like another 40 minutes or so, we're gonna take care of Alice and the Black Mamba, and then at the end of the video, we'll take Kevin out and put him back in his enclosure. So let me just fill this up with mulch, get his enclosure ready. Relax, Justina. She's losing her mind. I gotta finish this up fast, and then we'll go deal with Alice and the Black Mamba. Just a little bit more right there, and there we go. We got the final touch, right? Mm, perfect. All the mulch has been replaced. That's an enrichment for a snake. All those new scents and smells is gonna make Kevin real happy. Now we're gonna be dealing with Alice and the Black Mamba. To do this, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a switcheroo. So, as you know, Allison, being a Black Mamba, cannot be handled like a King Cobra. At least with my skill set, I cannot handle her like a King Cobra. I will get bit immediately. Also, I'm not gonna stick her into a snake holding receptacle. 
trash can because if you put Mamba in a trash can, Mamba wants to get out. Uh, the biggest story I ever heard growing up around venomous snake keepers is when I opened up the, the can, when I opened up the tub, it shot right out past my ear. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to learn from other people's handling and do it a little bit different. And the way I do it is I free up one of my vision cages so I have clean, clear glass to look through and see where the snake's at. And it's elevated, making the snake feel comfortable. This is an arboreal snake. You want to get it somewhere high to go hide into. If you try to put it into a can and it sees light, it's going to keep shooting out. So we don't want to do that because Allison's 10 feet long. She's a pogo stick with fangs, and not just any fangs, fangs that possess one of the most powerful neurotoxins on the planet. Black mamas have been documented to kill people within 30 minutes, so you want to make sure you're on your toes when working with a snake like this. Not that you guys at home are going to be working with black mamas, but for my fellow reptile keepers and handlers out there, this is a snake. Old jokes aside, will end your life. But I love her, because she's not that bad with mama, honestly. You know. Even though mambas have crazy reputations, here come with me, I gotta get my keys. Even though mambas have crazy reputations, at the end of the day, they're just like any other snake. They don't want anything to do with us. They don't see us as a prey item. They see us as a predator, potential harm, something that could kill them. So in reality, you know, we're six feet tall off the ground. Some of us five, two off of the ground. All right, okay. Ow! Okay, sorry. So anyways, black mambas, real short off the ground, two inches off the ground maybe, while we're tall, we're like nearly six feet. So we're very intimidating for a snake, no matter what it is, puff at a rattlesnake, anaconda, anything like that. All these snakes see us as a threat, except reticulated pythons. They do eat one person per year in Southeast Asia, but that's not the point, we're talking about mambas. So anyways, what we're gonna be doing is taking this Bushmaster out, putting in the snake box so we can utilize this enclosure from A to B to get the mamba so it's nice and smooth and easy. Well, let's hope. So, let me unlock this enclosure. This is Lachesis Muda, the Bushmaster. This snake is my bigger one, actually. This is the female. She's actually like four feet long. So what we're gonna do is carefully open up this enclosure. You don't wanna make any mistakes with this snake as well. They have heat-seeking pits that make them a true missile. And if you're a warm-blooded mammal, you better watch out because those fangs will sink right into you. Beautiful snake, look at that. Big female Bushmaster, roughly about two and a half years old, probably going on three years old now. Time flies. She's a beast, I love her. Got her when she was real small. It's so awesome to watch these snakes grow. So let's carefully, there we go, nice and smooth, flash that, nice and safe. Okay, so now we can take this out, we can take the water bowl out, we're gonna leave the substrate, the paper towels in there, because if the mama goes to the bathroom, it'll be easy to clean. And we'll sanitize the area before putting the Bushmaster back in because obviously cross contamination is a real thing and you never know what your snake could potentially be carrying. You know, there are viruses out there that'll stay dormant in snakes for years like Paramixo. And Paramixo, once it flares up, could kill your whole collection being airborne. So you want to always be careful with your snakes. All right, I'm going to close the glass right about there so it's nice and easy to close when we get her into there. She's in her box, so it's going to be a little interesting getting her taken care of, but this is mandatory. After I saw those red ants the other day, I was like, I need to do something ASAP because, believe it or not, red ants can all gang up and kill a snake. doesn't even matter if it's a black mamba. doesn't matter if it's a green anaconda. Red ants, ants in general, are ferocious, and when they work as a team, they take down big prey and easily they can take down my snake. It would be a shame to lose one of my snakes to a bunch of ants. Who could have done this? Ants Canada! All right guys, let's put on our serious faces. Let's do this. The glass is a little tight, so I gotta pull up my hand. And a lot of you are probably going, oh my god, this guy's got the opening right next to him, he's crazy. Allison's not like other mambas, or she's really like other snakes. She just doesn't want anything to do with me. She's not out to get me. But still, it doesn't mean I'm going to throw caution to the wind. This is a black mamba, and it should be respected. All right, so I'm going to open up the latch on the back, which is going to make it easier for me. What I'll do is flip it this way. So you guys can see the action. All right, so let's get that open. Ooh, look at her. 
She looks good, but she definitely needs to eat. Poor girl hasn't gone to eat a single meal because of those red ants. Just gotta give her a little tickle. There you go, that box. She's using her coils to actually keep her in the box at an angle. Gotta just push her a little bit. Oh, she's gonna come out that side probably. Come on. Gotta give you a little tail tickle. Come on. All right, I'm gonna get her by a different coil. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. There we go. Woo! Allison the Black Mamba. Get a good look at her because we usually don't get a handler like this. She is a beast and she is the ultimate snake when it comes to handling. Watch. She looks, she analyzes. Now remember, I was talking about King Cobras are the smartest snakes on the planet. You want to talk about the second smartest? It's probably the Black Mamba. An extremely smart Alapid figures out situations and can quickly adapt to survive a situation. See, she's looking at me. I gotta stay real calm, get her into the enclosure, make this real smooth. Hopefully she cooperates. She's a beast. Look how big she is. Look at the size of this Mamba. It is huge. And usually she's thicker, but she hasn't been able to eat her meals lately, so she's looking a little bit skinnier than usual, so it's, you know, oh, stressing me out. She'll be fine, but, man, I like to see my snakes chunky. Come on. Let's get that tail in there. Come on. There we go. Nice and secure. Let's get a lock on that, too, just to, just to make sure that Miss Allison stays put. Woo! Black Mamba. You know, I probably handle Kobe a little more, but... I don't get to handle Allison that much because, you know, there's no need. Watch. See the little hand movements? Just a little bit of hand movements and that gets her spooked. So I don't want to stress her out. I love this snake. You know, she might be one of the most dangerous snakes on the planet, but believe me, I love the hell out of this snake. And she might not hate me, she might not love me, but man, I got to tell you, I'll do anything for this snake to make sure it's okay. Red ants? Not okay. I'm calling you out, Ants Canada. You bring any more ants to my facility when I'm sleeping, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to Canada, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my passport, my COVID test, I'm gonna come after you ants from Canada. I swear to me, I'm gonna get it, I get it, I get it. Come down, come down, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, goose you about brava, to catch a bullet, ant. Mm. goose brava, <laughs> goose brava, it's okay, <laughs> it's okay, chiller, you got, it's okay. So, I'm picking around the mulch right now. And I'm not seeing any ants yet, but I did see them earlier. But we want to make sure we take out all the mulch. See, look, look at this right here. That hole right there in the corner helps with draining the water when you clean these cages. So you drill a little corner hole. Uh, obviously, not big enough for a snake to get out, but just enough so you can drain the water when cleaning. I think those ants are picking up the scent of the rodents, and they're coming in through the back. I'm going to make sure there's no ants in the enclosure, because there's no food for them to come get if I deep clean it. So let's do that, make sure my snakes are safe, because I wouldn't want one single ant to take a bite out of my sweet Alice in the Black Mamba. I'm going to find Ants Canada for you, and make this right. I'm going to get that Ants Canada guy, I swear. Ruth, start googling addresses. Alright beautiful people, just, oh, still a little bit more, just cleaning out her box, so we can replace that, get some new substrate, so she's nice and comfy, I'm going to get out all this mulch, I'm not seeing the ants, but let's just make this nice and clean so the ants don't have any reasons to come back in, so let's get out all that mulch right there, mm -hmm. I'm going to get out all this mulch, I'll see you guys in a split when we're putting the fresh mulch in, <laughs> alright beautiful people, we got our fresh mulch, Oh, good. Covered up that hole. Now, I'm gonna get that fresh water put inside the enclosure. Wow. Come take a look at this. Have you ever seen water that fresh? I bet you haven't. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm gonna get a new water. Whoa! Comedy. All right, beautiful people. We got our fresh water good to go. We're gonna stick this right in the corner. Just get that in there nice and safely. All right, so we're good to go. We've got the enclosure clean, fresh mulch, fresh mulch in the box, fresh water, and the enclosure's just cracked open enough so I can get her into the enclosure. And speaking of good, it doesn't seem like she's on good terms with me right now. She's been watching me walk back and forth and all the movements been getting her a little riled up. And she's been actually hooding up at me. Mambas, even though it's not a true cobra, they're actually a part of the cobra family, Lapidae. 
So they're in their own little branch. And almost every type of a Lapidae has some sort of hood they flare out. Not every single one, because there's a lot of uh, my cure species, the coral snakes, that don't have any hoods. But mambas, when they feel threatened, they actually hood up their neck. When they're really upset, they'll hood up the neck and they'll actually get off the ground a little bit. Mambas, when they're flaring up the neck at you like that, you better get out of town. You leave them alone. But we're going to have to take her out and put her back in her closure. So let's get into business. Right, Allison? Oh, she knows. She's such a smart snake. Remember, this is about the second smartest snake on the planet. And it's the second largest venomous snake on the planet. See how look? She's getting super weird, a little twitchy with the movements. She's not enjoying this at all. She wants to just be left alone. We're going to go nice and smooth with how low she got. Hey, baby. Look we'll at my hook. Right under there. Oh, it's a little difficult. That's a big mamba. I love this snake so much. Look at that. That is a beast. All right, we're going to make this nice and easy. Oh, oh, nice and easy, Miss Allison. There you go. Right into the enclosure. Perfect. Look at that. What a beast of a mamba. And see, wants nothing to do with me. Just wants to go high, be left alone. Probably the most feared snake on the planet. And it's a scared kitty trying to get away. That just shows you, you know, there's a lot of talk always about certain animals, whether it's snakes, crocodiles, uh, killer dolphins, you never know. Like, there's just a lot of hype about the animals. And then when you get to know them, they're not that bad. Roll credits. Oh, we're not done. Okay, we have to put Kevin back. All right, let me lock the enclosure. Make sure she's nice and secure. Now we gotta put back this Bushmaster. I'm gonna quickly sanitize this enclosure. I'm gonna take out all this old paper towels, dirty anyway, so we're gonna throw this away, get new substrate and get that Bushmaster back and get Kevin the King Cobra out from soaking because now it's been about an hour and he's probably feeling nice and relaxed. All right, beautiful people, we got the enclosure prepped, ready to go. The Bushmaster can go back in. Let's see where she's at. Oh, hello. How are you? What's going on, beautiful? Oh my God, look, just come over here. Come at a distance, come over here and get a good shot of how beautiful this snake is. She is the largest viper species on the planet and she's gorgeous. Look at her. It's almost like a light pink and orange going down her sides. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, She's just the most stunning snake I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Don't tell my other snakes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is gently get her under this coil. Oh, sorry, baby. Gently get her under that coil. Because even though she's the largest viper on the planet, she's still a fragile animal. Snake skeletons are like fine china. You can easily bruise or break ribs when handling, especially with a snake like a viper. Look how beautiful this snake is. Look at that. That is such a beast. And like I say, the texture of the snake is like a pineapple. I wish you guys could feel this snake, but sadly, this snake's very venomous. And we would not want you guys to get too close. But you guys can enjoy that beautiful animal on camera and check out that tail, that iconic thorn-like tail, believed to carry venom by natives in South America. But no venom in here, it's just used to rattle. So it's made of keratin, it's hard, just like your fingernails, and they rattle that against the leaves to signal a predator to leave them alone. Let's get that tail in there. Perfect, okay, so let's get that locked. Oh, look, 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 she's vibrating her tail right now. So she's getting a little upset. She's probably seeing the heat signature from the light on the camera right now. That is such a beautiful snake. The Bushmaster. Look at those heat pits. Huge heat seeking pits. That's why they're so deadly dangerous accurate with their strike. And a good friend of mine learned how deadly accurate they are when he was feeding on these snakes. Literally, he fed it a rat, bit the rat, dumped a bunch of venom, and then quickly popped off that rat, shot out, and scraped him with one thing. Nearly killed him. But he's a smart guy. He carries his own anti-venom. Chandler, do you carry your own anti-venom? Not yet. It's expensive. Give me some time. Oh. 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 Oh.
break you for people. We're going to put Kevin the King Cobra back. Let me just pop this open. We're going to check with the hook for... Oh, there we go. He's just coming right out. What is going on, dude? You were in there pretty long. How do you feel? Look at that. You had plenty of water to soak in. About like a foot and a half this time. We give him lots of depth. So let's see. Kevin, you want to come out? There we go. Look at that. Solid. King Cobra. Such a beautiful animal. Let's get that body out. Let's see how he's doing. I gotta inspect his whole body. Make sure he doesn't have any scale run or anything. Looking good. I was, when I was handling him a couple days ago, I was cleaning his enclosure. And when I handled him, I noticed a couple scales popped off while handling him. That's an indicator that he's definitely trying to shed and needs a little assistance with getting a nice bath. So hopefully, hopefully after that nice long soak, he's going to be able to pop off this old skin and get his beautiful coloration back. So we're going to get him right back in there. There you go, big boy. And this fresh mulch is humid. It's got moisture in it. So it's going to be really good to help with that shedding process as well. And you can actually see, after that long, beautiful tail just went through my hands, we've got some scales here and there. So it's just showing you that he is going through shed and that water is helping out. So let me just get him nice and secure first. Want to get that tail in there, buddy? You know, he's smelling around. He's like, look, holy smells. Yes, yes, I know. I know. You want new smells too. Locked and secured. All right, beautiful people. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon for exclusive content. We film special episodes just for the Patreon page. Only spot on the internet. You're going to see those videos nowhere else. No second channel. But we did start the extra channel. Oh, yeah, baby. We started Chandler's Extra Wildlife. So if you want to see extra wildness, extra me, you want to see me riding a dirt bike, you want to see me out in the air with catching a pig bear handed, you want to see me doing catching cooks, you subscribe to Chandler's Extra Wildlife. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Chandler's Wildlife. We're at 1.58, we're almost to 2 million subscribers. We have a goal. Before we open up this facility for private tours, we want to hit three million subscribers i want to try and open this place up in the next five six months remember it's going to take a lot of money to cover all the costs to get this room built out get it looking good and then doing all the crock ponds guys please help me reach this goal we want three million subscribers i never ask anyone to subscribe i don't ever ask for that kind of stuff but now now is the time i have a small army and now it's time to build up my army 1.5 million people now I will become three million, a small nation bigger than some Southeast Asian islands. <laughs> anyway, so what we're gonna do is end this episode. I don't know why I keep walking over here. I like my king cobras, I like to be close to them. I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to check out your new Chandler's Wildlife merch. Woo! Look at that. Can you feel the Miami? Ooh, can you feel the Miami in my chest? Where, where, where my son? Pretend I'm wearing sunglasses. Wow! Anyways, beautiful people, don't forget to check us out on Chandler'sWildlife.com. Get your merch. We have the Chandler's Wildlife with the crocodile. We have Get Jacked, our newest design. And we have stuff always cooking. We're dropping merch every month now, so keep your eyes peeled like bananas. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, and most of all, follow your dreams, stay passionate, and stay gangster. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pay attention! Come on! Uh. Did I hit it too hard? I know last time I corrupted the memory card. Anyways!